Hello, hello, lovelies. Hello. This is your weekly dose of light. This is a new series that I'm starting this year to bring you inspiration, of course, light language to activate you, to support you as we move through this journey this year. You know, each year brings through um, a different flavor of our journey, requiring us to step up to that next level or become our next self, I should put it that way. Hello and welcome to this week's Dose of Light. I'm really feeling the um, the need for this week's Dose of Light to support you. There's so much going on. <laughs> I mean, it's been going on for a while. If you're sensitive to energies, you've been feeling this buildup of energy with the new moon and eclipse, um, the solar eclipse in Aries, in Aries season, um, and also with the planets of Chiron, which is the the wounded healer or the planet that teaches us where we need to heal ourselves, <laughs> right? And then we also have Pluto in the mix. There's so much going on. It's like no wonder there's big changes happening, not just within ourselves, but also in the global consciousness. So if you've been feeling the heaviness, you're not alone. And if you're not feeling the heaviness, well done. <laughs> Because not everybody's going to be feeling this intensity. And it, it, it doesn't mean that one person is better than the other. It's just, it depends on what your path is. What is it that you're working on? How long have you been working on it for, right? And also what your divine gift is. So for example, if you are an empath or a channel, you're definitely going to be feeling this time more because that's who you are. Your antenna is is um, already open to this kind of energies, this transformation, transformative energy so that you can share it with others and guide them on the way, right? So whatever you're feeling at this time, if you're getting excited, that's great too, right? Whatever you're feeling at this time is exactly how you're supposed to be feeling. If you have been feeling sad and crying, you're purging, you're letting go, you're releasing, you're healing, Tears are so, so, so healing, right? Whatever emotions are coming up at this time, I want you to honor it. I dove right into it. For those of who are new to me, who are like, oh my gosh, we just went, we just went right there. My name is Abigail Mensa Bonsu. I am the founder of Moon Goddess Academy and Moon Goddess Publishing. And each week I tune in and bring through a, a light language message. With it, it's a, um, also a channeled message to support you through the week. Um, and sometimes I'll talk a little bit about the energy of what we're working with in the week, right? It just depends. Like this week, you cannot ignore the eclipse <laughs> and the fact that we're in Mercury retrograde and is in Aries. I mean, you just cannot ignore that. It's such powerful, potent, potent energies. So I really have this feeling like this light language that will come through will really hold you, <laughs> will like wrap you in that divine mother's embrace. And I'm seeing both divine mother and divine father holding you um, in that warm embrace. So I hope you are ready. I want you to, this week, I want you to be very gentle with yourself. I want you to do more of the things that light you up, more of the things that bring you joy, more of the things that help you wake up in the morning and face the sunlight and feel the warmth of the sunlight on your skin with gratitude. You know, those things that you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful I get to do this every day because it lifts me up. For example, if drinking tea in the morning um, it, like sets the day up for you, do more of it, right? Because it gives you that peace and serenity and you're also nourishing yourself physically right you're nourishing your body depending on what time what type of tea you're drinking right if you know whatever it is if you love to draw or color do more of that do more of the things that light you up this week especially I want you to actually do this like make this an unnegotiable for you but this week especially I want you to amp it up take care of yourself take care of your heart take care of your body do the things that make you feel amazing 
Harene ka arene a shoro oro moetia tara sa aronoro moetiti shiti aranaia ta taro oro oeshia. I'm getting to also take care of this beautiful physical body of yours. Every time we have this, you know, we step into a portal where there's so much energy coming through, or frequency coming through, it is very important that we take care of our physical bodies. Remember, our energetic bodies or spiritual bodies are already attuned to these frequencies that is the realm so they're able to receive it and integrate it very easily whereas the body the physical body has a much denser um, frequency so it takes a while for the frequency to come in and for the body to uh, absorb it and integrate it into the physical body so you really need to take care of yourself they, this is why you know people experience like what do they call it that there's a name for it for example um like a headache or feeling thirsty or just feeling tired and depleted. It's your body's way of saying, hey, I'm receiving a lot of high frequency and it's taken a lot for me to work through it. So can you do this to help me integrate it? For example, can you take a nap so that I can take care of this? So I can absorb these high frequencies that are coming through. Or can you move your body so that I can be able to absorb this high frequency. So take care of your body at this time. It's very important. We More and more, we're being reminded that there's no ascension without the body. I think for the longest time, it, you know, it was believed that ascension was about leaving the body behind and moving into this etheric realm. But now, you know, we're truly understanding this, and I hope you are too, right? Ascension the, the key component of ascension is your physical body because we're not trying to escape this reality. We are bringing in heaven onto our earth. We're bringing spirit into our body so that we can do what we came here to do, which is to experience the human life, whatever path you chose. It is not about leaving. It's about integrating, coming home to self. The body is incredible. The body is so incredible. And when you bridge spirit with a body, you'll be amazed what it can do. The wisdom of this body is just, yes. <laughs> so remember that each time we step into a higher frequency, your body is key. Your body is very important. Take care of it. Drinking lots of water, <laughs> if you're feeling thirsty, especially, because not everybody is going to feel thirsty, but at least drinking a glass of water to help distribute or help the cells hydrate themselves so that when they receive the high frequencies, the high, you know, it's kind of like having a, a glass of water um, when you receive an energy work or when you bless a glass of water, the water molecules absorb these high light frequencies and then you're able to drink it into your body and your cells just absorb it right so it's the same thing when you're receiving light language it's good to have a, a glass of water next to you and what is going to happen is that the glass of water is going to absorb all that light language and when you're done you drink it and your body gets to also absorb it and this helps your body to really integrate what is coming through whether you know um instead of you know it makes it easier for your body to integrate these high frequencies. So hydrate yourself. <laughs> I'm saying this, I'm like, yeah, I need to drink some water. But right now I'm feeling some tea. So I'm drinking some tea. So take a deep breath in with me. And out. Whatever it is that you're worried about, whatever it is that feels heavy within your heart, within your stomach, within your body, I want you to take a deep breath in of light and with your exhale, just let it go. Let's do this. So it's like each breath that you're taking is like you're breathing in the oxygen, but the oxygen is infused with light, with light code. So just breathe it in, into your body and then breathe out. Breathe out the heaviness, the stress, the tightness, all of that, the worry. Breathe it all out. Let's do it one more time. In, inhale. And let go. Oh. And at this time, I want you to go ahead and place one hand or both hands on your heart.
You can also place one hand on your heart and one on your stomach or your womb, or you can place both. What Actually, what I want you to do is place your hand where your body wants you to place your hand. So where do you need the, where do you need the healing? Oh, I love this. Where do you need the healing in your body? So take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, just take um, notice of where in your body your hands are being called to. And release. <sighs> For mine, it's definitely heart and stomach. I'm going to place mine there. Go ahead and place your hands wherever your body needs it. Ah, and just open up yourself to re re <laughs> open up yourself to release and also to receive. Haranete soro kiashia mokori na takare ati toro moyatia taras ak arnoro ro shitia mak aretia mak oro ta shetera horo moetia ta harana teta horo shitia makare shera nana kiaro oro oeti ti shuru mokoro mokore shiti ayana kareto moro e shitia are nene soro moetia Tare shoro moe ara nas aetia. Hare shoro oro oro. Are shoro mea kare shoro mo o koro more shia. Shitunoko Puru satara tangare ya noro kor 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 me sheria at arandaria ori situr marasat arete roria moria sidia karia i now call in divine protection for all who listen to this light language for this week and for any time that they need it. I also call in divine healing, divine warmth for anyone who is listening to this. Are niya kareya, support and love as well. Kare titi soromorum, mer nasam, seeing angelic support pouring in. Tare seriak orum oneyashia. Your divine team are here, surrounding you with a circle of golden light. Dera sarakare no koro. Are you willing to open up to receive your love and support at this time and your wisdom as well as your guidance? Most importantly, are you willing to open up to receive divine assistance at this time? Morian Nadakia, Tara Saramoyetia, Shoro Koro no Noshia, Mare Nasitia, Tara Sandakar in Dete Soro, Noro Soro Korea Shia. Shuro Sor Ud Ud Ina Saetia, O Dia Dia, Tare Senia Carior Moya, Turishitia Nak Arendea. 
moro 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 si ti are ne a ti a loro ne si a ti da mori a si ti a kare a the earth the beloved mother earth this this earth that we have our feet placed on, will love to support you at this time. Completely surrender onto your seat. Allow your feet to rest upon the earth as you release that which you're ready to release and also open up to receive the blessings and the support from the earth beneath you and everything that is part of the earth wants to help you at this time. Na ye shoro mo rori shia. Pur pur shutun mo reni atariya. Pur pur shutun mo ro shitiya ak arende. Noria shitiya raneya. Raneya soro oria shoro moya titiya. Doro soro moya shitiya. Moya shitiya. Moya shitiya. Boyeshia, Shoria ka arende, Shoria ki atarasa, Mek e sho, Mek e sho romoeti atara ak are. Take a deep breath in here and out. Deras ara oromoetia. Tare shiroko oron tikia, taras anu ondo osiara ya teti soro mo ok ondo ya, tare shiriori ya, tare shoro mo oria kia, taras ak are de teto sho poia, nara soro ora, shetia ak are sho. We now anchor lock and seal this transmission, this light transmission on every level of our being physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually on every level. Now, we ask that this frequency gets integrated in every level of your being and on every, in every cell with ease and grace. Hari, show, show. It is done, it is done, it is done. By the power of three, a perfect trinity, it is done. Take a deep breath in here and out. For those of you who are feeling fearful in this time, you're being reminded that you are safe. You are safe. There's nothing to be afraid of. You know, when we get these high frequencies, what how I like to work with these energies is that I I tune into my body and listen to its wisdom more than listening to what other people are saying. Because how I interact with these cosmic energies is gonna be very unique to me. And so I invite you to do the same thing. Yes, we're talking about, you know, the eclipse and usually what eclipse mean. And there's so many, you know, different aspects to it. You can listen to that. But most importantly, I want you to tune into yourself and feel it. Feel it. How am I dancing with this energy? How is this energy coming in to help me in my growth, in my healing, in my life, in my dreams? How is it interacting with me? and then go from there. There's nothing for you to be afraid of. You are safe. I invite you to come back to listen to this trans transmission, this light transmission this week, as much as you need. And I would love for you to share this with whoever needs to hear this or needs the support at this time. Remember, light language is timeless. So it doesn't matter how many times you listen to it or when you listen to it, you will always receive what you need from it. All right, my dears. <laughs> Thank you so much for receiving this week's light dose of light. And until next time, be gentle with yourself this week. Bye.